Hey everyone, so we are back with another break 80 shot for shot video from Swanee Set Bay Resort playing from the tips 7,126 yards. Before we jump into the course, I've got a giveaway to announce. So, we're giving away a Kulik, a sleeve of Strixon Z Star XV golf balls, a Keppel golf glove, as well. Whoever wins is going to join me for a free round of golf at either Swanee Set Bay or Predator Ridge. You pick the course, let's make it happen. In order to enter, one, of course, you have to subscribe. This giveaway is going to one of my subscribers. And number two, we're announcing this once this video hits 500 likes. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, spread the word, let's make it happen. Now the course. So as I mentioned, we're playing just over 7,100 yards here at Swanee Set Bay. You drive up and it is just a beautiful resort feel. Absolutely love it. Of course, this is where Happy Gilmore was filmed, so you got the amazing clubhouse. And I was super thrilled by the conditions when we were playing here. The greens were running true, the fairways were butter, and of course, lots of water. So you know what that means. You better be keeping the ball straight. So jumping into hole number one, it's a 409 yard par four from the back tees. You've got a little creek to hit over, but not really in play. A couple bunkers in the middle of the fairway there, as well as some greenside ones. First shot here, hit a perfect drive right down the right side, avoid the bunkers. Had a little flip wedge in. I would stick that to about uh, four feet. Nice, good birdie to start. Hole two is a 592 yard par five, bit of a beast. You got water all down the right side as you approach the green. Thankfully it is relatively open off the tee shot and you got a couple bunkers that can save you there. Fairly large green, a big ridge in the middle, so just make sure you know where your landing spot is uh, relative to the pin placement on this one. Played it safe with a gapper down the middle. Five iron to get it into a nice 145 yard range for my pitching wedge. Get Pulled out the pitching wedge and just hit it a little thin and slicey, so it wasn't quite the tight putt I was hoping for. Manson. And this putt a little bit longer than I would have liked, so a three foot tester coming back. Third hole, par four, dog leg left. You got water on the right and left sides. Bunkers up at the green, and really what you see is what you get. Not really worth hitting driver on this hole. Keep it safe down the middle and make it happen. Gapper to start, down to the right hand side rough. Had a pitching wedge in that was a little bit chunky, so thankfully landed short of the bunkers. But didn't leave a very easy chip shot here. Now what should have been an easy two putt, and I had a terrible first putt. Left this about four feet short once again, another tester. We've got uh, Brian here with the chip in. That's, that's going in the video. <laughs> Love to see that. He was help he was a huge help for this round. Nice, good finish. So hole number four is a bit of an interesting one. You've got a split fairway. Uh, layup option down the right hand side or the left hand side opens up quite a bit. So if you can aim for that fairway bunker, cut it back, avoid the water. Left hand side is definitely the play here. Ended up landing in the fairway and kicked into the fairway bunker. A little 52 wedge in and would unfortunately leave that short. It was kind of a trend for me on this day. Ben, you gotta hit it. A lot of shots ended up short. Come on down. And this putt here just legged it a little bit short and uh, had a tap in bogey to bring me to one over on the round 
through four holes. Now the fifth hole, first par three of the day, it is 178 yards from the back tees. What you see is what you get. Avoid the water, keep it left so you're not in the bunkers. Straight forward. Had a seven iron in here and uh, hit it good. Just ended up front fringe. Pitching wedge, bump and run that I uh, didn't want to leave short like my last chip, so I sent it a little bit long. Go, go. Oh. That hurts. Oh. Moving on to the par five, six hole, you've got bunkers on the left hand side, right hand side water, relatively narrow off the tee. And then it narrows up a ton as you get towards the green there with water on both sides. Um, lots of bunkers as well. So really fun par five here. Uh, always, I was definitely excited to play this one. I had a terrible drive, a slice of rama. Into the hazard off the tee. Fortunately, a little too much cut on that one. Call it a slice. So playing three from here with a one stroke penalty, big four iron cutout. Just what we wanted. Hit this great, was right at it. Thought we were gonna have a tap in par save. Unfortunately, went a little bit long. Oh, it didn't stay up. For another bogey, three in a row, that brings me up to plus three through six holes. Hole seven, par four. A little bit of water to carry over, bunkers down the left side. Really one of the easier holes I would say of the day, especially since it's only 363 yards. So keep it in play. No reason why you can't walk away with a par or a birdie here. Gapper right down the middle. Feet club. 52 degree wedge in and it would put that just to the right side of the green. Had this look for birdie that I once again legged low of the hole. Heading on to hole eight here, which is a lengthy par three. It was playing 242 yards this day. Just a beast of a par three here at the eighth par here. And we're feeling good going uh, into the turn. That is so good. Landed right in the middle of the green. Would be a very long putt with the pin tucked back left. Sit. Go in. I thought that was going to drop for sure. Hey, you know what? A par on a 242 yard par three though. We are not complaining with that. On to the ninth. Wrapping up the front nine here with a 443 yard par four. So bit on the longer side, you've got the sand down the right hand side, also super narrow, water to contend with, green side bunkers, and a two tiered green. And once again, a big slicer rolled into the right side fairway bunker. Oh, we got some uh, furry friends out on the course. Hit a five iron got out and kind of rolled its way up towards the green. Was very happy with them with that one considering my earlier performance with the wedge. We will take that. Ooh. Just snuck her in there. Moving on to the 10th. It is a 614 yard par five dog leg left. You've got that bunker down the left hand side, which is about a 290 yard carry. So not really in business. Right is pretty safe because it opens up to another hole and that water is not really in play on the back tees at least. Narrows up towards the green and then you've got a couple pop bunkers around the green as well to contend with. Oh, Hit a perfect drive here, exactly. right at the bunker thinking I could carry it. From back there, thought this bunker was a 230 carry. Turns out the hill right behind the camera is the 230 carry. This bunker here is at least a 290 carry. So you want to keep it right of it. Lots of fairway. Five iron draw to lay up here and it worked out really well for me. And I would 
once again leave this just short of the green. Didn't quite have the break I expected. Plus three through 10. Moving on to hole number 11. It is a 382 yard par four. You've got a bunker on the left side and water down the right. So a bit of a layup hole here, all things considered. Trusty gapper, that would put me into the right side rough, just short of the water. Kicked hard right. Oh yes. Nice shot. Thanks. Oh Ben, you gotta hit it. Go. Keep scooting. Relatively straightforward two putt par. Now the twelfth hole, once again, a long par three. We've got 218 yards. Bunkers at the front, very shallow green as well, so not an easy par three, it's slightly elevated. Another beast of a par three here, 222 to pin. Pulled the four iron out, hit way too much cut on that one, and uh, ended up just short on the right side bunker. Good tough chip. Very difficult chip here with the uh, patchy grass. Had a nice uphill putt for par that should have been makeable. Heading on to hole number 13, which is a shorter par four, all things considered, 368 yards. You got water that is absolutely in play off the tee with the creek there. You're 233 on the left side, probably closer to 270, straight in the middle of the fairway. Perfect. Gapper, just short of the water. 58 degree wedge, Go. thought I could get it there. Unfortunately, landed at the front and spun back on me. Pulled out the Texas wedge here and would we'll put that nice and close for a tap in par to maintain four over. Beauty golf hole here on the 14th. You got the creek down the right hand side, a couple of bunkers right as well. It's really open off the tee. It doesn't look it. It looks super narrow. And then up at the green, a difficult second shot. It's a 440 yard par four, so really long. No. Just a terrible pull drive. Nice thing with 14 here, you can just grip it and rip it. I hit a terrible pull drive way left. Went straight through these trees, opens up to a hole, another hole. We are laughing, good miss. So I had a five iron in here and hit a good shot, but just wasn't quite enough club, unfortunately. Get over. Hit a good bunker shot here. Didn't get the roll I expected. Go. Tap in bogey to move me to plus five through 14 holes. One of the signature holes here at Swanee Set, 497 yard par five, 15th. Bunkers down the left. You got the beautiful view with Pit Lake and the quarry in the backdrop there. This one is called Trevino's Tree because you've got that Solos tree blocking you out of the green. So you got to shape it around that depending on your positioning. Perfect. Yeah. Two gappers would be enough to get me at least close to the green. Quite cut enough. I hit this chip really well, but it just didn't run down the hill like I expected, so it kind of trickled onto the green and stopped uh, about 20 feet short. Stay up. How many times have I legged it low? 16 is a super narrow par four, 376 yards, and it, it's kind of S-shaped, so you have to hit a draw off the tee, which is not my forte, as most of you know, and sometimes when I do that, I end up doing this. A terrible slice, pushed it, everything was wrong with that, and ended up in the hazard. So we'll go up there, drop, hitting three. Pulled it straight into the green side bunker, so Gonna have a tough look at making a bogey here. Hit a great bunker shot, but it just rolled out. It was very difficult with the down slope. Oh, no, I thought I had that. Yeah. 
So first double of the day on the 16th puts me to plus seven. 17th here, once again, a long par three, 194 yards. Par, par, breaks 80. Regardless of that double that I just experienced, we're doing okay. Beat a club. Kick left. Landed uh, front right side. Thanks. You're on. Had this putt up the hill for my birdie. Still only birdie of the day was on hole one and would tap that in for an easy par. Going on to the 18th hole, seven over, must par or better to break 80. 460 yard par four, not an easy golf hole here. Really intimidating tee shot. Everything off the fairway slopes into the trees. So if you're not down the middle, you could get a bad bounce. You got to carry some water to, down there. And of course, the beautiful backdrop with the clubhouse there. Got to risk it for the biscuit. A par here, breaks 80. All comes down to this. Oh, nice shot. That is the best drive of the day. Had an eight iron in and just terrible swing. Everything about that was wrong. That's not a good sand trap to be in. Great out. We've got a chance. Putting for par. Ugh, this is the biggest putt of my life. Got it. 79 from the tips. Thanks for playing, Brian. No problem. This was the man behind the lens. Huge help. You gotta check out the video. Can't wait to see it. The 79 today is literally because of Brian's filming, so I didn't have to worry about any of that stuff. I just got to play golf, and man, this course was awesome. The greens were running true. I think they were 8.9 on the stimp. I'll double check the app. Um, a, lot of, a lot of water out there, so you really gotta stay out of trouble. Of course, it was in great conditions though. Oh yeah. And uh, uh, the maintenance here has been excellent. So the fairways were just butter. Like, so nice to hit off of carpet on under the feet. The beauty backdrop, can't beat it. Next time we'll have to give her uh, Happy Gilmore on one of the holes. But uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Thanks for having me.